Hi everyone, my name is John, and welcome to the World Lexicon's first video on Kazakh for English speakers. This is the language which is spoken across the country of Kazakhstan, located in the region known as Central Asia. Kazakhstan is known to be one of Russia's closest allies, however, their language is nothing like Russian at all. In fact, Kazakh is a lot more like Turkish, Kyrgyz, and Tatar, as it is a Turkic language. It is another Kipchak language, like Kyrgyz. It's notable for having an abundance of vowels, more than usual for a Turkic language. By number, that's 11 different vowels. Kazakh is thought to have started in the Chaatai group of languages, or Chaatai literary language. Chaatai is thought to be a written form of many of the Central Asian languages, much like modern standard Arabic is a written form of many of the Arabic dialects from around the Arab world. It went through its Cyrillic phase in the mid to late 20th century, finally coming to a close in 2021. Though, there is a lot of holdover for Cyrillic, and a lot of text you'll read in Kazakh is in the Cyrillic script. Today, though, we'll be covering the brand spanking new Kazakh Latin alphabet. This new alphabet was introduced in April of 2021 as a replacement for the Cyrillic which has been used for the past century. There is more history as to the orthography of Kazakh, which I may cover later in another video, but for now we'll just be talking about the sounds of Kazakh and how it differs from other Turkic languages. So, without further ado, let's get started. Here's the Kazakh alphabet. You may or may not be able to see the abundance of vowels already. I'll be going through them first. Firstly, there's A. This is like the A in call. Alma. Next is A. This is a bit like the A in cat. Sadly. Next is A. This is more like the vowel sound in bet, but with a bit more palatalization. A. Yiki. Next is E. This is close to the sound that in English would be described as the short I. Like the I in pit. Til. This letter is E. It's actually represented by two letters in Cyrillic. One, E, is like a diphthong between E and Y. E. The other, kuske e, is more like a Y in English. Ye. Ye. This is wo. It's kind of like the letter O in gross, but with W at the beginning. Though, it can also be voiced without the W sound. Okay. This letter is W. Very similar to the previous letter, it's like the double O's in good, but sometimes voiced with the W sound at the beginning. Usindik. This letter is U. It can either be like the U in bowl or like the W in water. 
وقطي This is O. It's like the O in hope, but keep your tongue towards the back of your mouth. O. Ozak. This is U. It's like the vowel sound in new. Ui. Next is a. Uh. It's a bit like the A in about. Istanbul. Okay, that's all the vowels. Now on to the consonants. First off is B. Next, this is de. Dariger. This is f. Ferma. This is ge. Gaz. This is ra. Almost like the French R sound. No words start with this letter. Arash. This letter is Kha, and it's represented by two letters in Cyrillic. Kha and Ha. It can either be like the CH in Loch Ness, or the H in House. Khelva. This is J, like the G in Garage. Juice. This is ka. Cook. This is l. Limon. This is M. Maran. This is N. Nan. This is Eng. It's kind of like the English digraph NG, as in sing. No words start with this letter. Jungler. This is Pe. Balal. This is Ga. Kind of like G, but further back in the throat. Ka. Gaza. This is er. It's an alveolar tap, so more like a T sound. Re. Re. Re se. This is S. Sabun.
This is sha, and it's a bit like the digraph sh in English. Spinot. This is te. Tall. This is ve. Wagon. And finally, this is ze. Zetun. There are a few more letters which exist only in the Cyrillic alphabet that don't exist at all in the Latin alphabet. For example, se. This is like a mix of T and S. There's also che. This is like a CH sound in English. It actually does exist in the Latin alphabet, it's just not that common and not always included. There's also sha, which is mostly used in Russian loanwords, as well as y, ya, and a, all of which are sounds common in Russian and not so much in Kazakh. These letters are actually used pretty often considering that a lot of Kazakh people are bilingual in the Russian language. Though the two languages aren't very much alike, Kazakh takes a lot of loanwords from Russian. Here's the whole Kazakh Latin alphabet again. I will more than likely do a Kazakh Cyrillic video. However, I wanted to do this new alphabet as Kazakh is planning to transition to it before the end of the decade and most works that will be written in Kazakh, including possible future Kazakh textbooks, will be written in the script. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you should check out our Discord as well. It's chock full of resources that you can use to learn the Kazakh language as well as many others. You'll also find a lot of linguistics enthusiasts, like myself, so if that's your thing, come and join us. Alright, that's it for this video. Thanks so much. I've been John, and peace.